Okay. Looking at the right dashboard, um, you'll notice a lot of familiar GIS features. So you'll notice right up at the top is where you can manage your zoom extents, right? So if I want to zoom into a particular area, I can use the first tool to say I want to zoom into that rectangle. If I want to go back to my previous extent, I can toggle my arrows and it'll take me back to where I was. Um, you also have your just simple zoom in one increment kind of buttons, right? So if I want to zoom in just based on the center of my screen, I'll just zoom in a couple increments. Um, if you want to zoom to an area, you can specify a county, a state, a city uh, that you want to go look at. So if I want to go look at Fort Collins, Colorado, it'll go zoom me to Fort Collins, Colorado when I type it in and hit enter. Um, the identify button is useful when you have an uploaded data set. Um, you can click on it and allow you just like in any sort of arc map GIS style program where you can identify this is my string segment or this is the polygon that I'm clicking on that allows you to do that. Um, the first tab is where you can manage all your different data layers. You'll notice that there's a section in here dedicated to data layers that are already pre-built into our tools. So if you want to pull in things like government locations or railroad street names or watershed extents um, or some of the data sets from the EPA water systems, um, you can turn any one of these on. You just include it and then it's going to go turn on my NHD layer. So you'll notice I got stream segments and lakes and a few different monitoring dots of like outlet locations and things like that from the NHD data set. Um, if you want to use the first button, you can upload your own, right? So it's going to open a file uploader and I can actually go in and pick. Um, I want to go pick some of my own data sets. I can go pick a shape file that I have that exists for counties in Colorado. Right, I can upload all of the pieces of my shapefile, right? The DBF, the projection, the shapefile. Um, pick all of those. That can either be a zip file that contains all of that, or you can click all of them independently um, and upload them. When you upload them, it's going to take a sec to process, and then you'll notice that my county shapefile layer exists here. I can click this one to zoom to it, right? So I have my zoom layer. Um, if you want to look about at anything about the layer you just uploaded, you have a number of different tools, right? I can look at properties, I can zoom to it, I can open the attribute table, I can re-download it out of the tool, I can delete it if I don't like it anymore, um, I can rename it if I don't like having the underscore and the .shp in the name. Um, if you click on the legend, you can mess with the symbology, right? Maybe I want to make it a little bit transparent so I can see the base layer behind um, my county layer map. You'll notice that it goes opaque and I can start seeing through it a little bit. Um, if you want to do something more complex, like I want to color each unique county, you can do that sort of things. Like I want to use unique values for my county name code. I'll get all of my counties and I can apply that. Um, it'll update my legend and I'll have a nice little list of all of my different counties in here. Um, and you can, of course, delete it when you're done. Um, there's also a section in here dedicated to interacting with your base layer, right? Do you want to look at something that is kind of a base map? Do you want to look at something that is more of a satellite imagery? Do you want to look at a hybrid between those where you see things like state boundaries, boundaries and counties and highways and those kind of things? Do you want to only look at uh, the watersheds? Do you only want to look at the topography? Um, you can switch between all of those. 